Career mode is back. I'm going to change around my intro because I keep on saying hey guys and now I got to change it. But we are with Sporting Gihon and we are in season one, episode one. Guys, I have done a huge editing fail and I have forgotten to record the beginning of the season. And uh, on your screen now, you can currently see the transfer we have made. And I apologize deeply because this was absolute shit. I'm so, 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 so sad that I fucked up with the recording of that. But nothing can be done. Um, my Agado wasn't working for some reason, so I had to restart my whole uh, thing. And I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. It just recorded black. And that's just so disappointing. But as you can see, we were, we were without a keeper in the beginning of the season. So I went off and I bought Jack Butland for, I think, 5 million for 5 million euros. Uh, then we had to have a striker because obviously Hernandez left and Benzia is injured. So we went ahead and we got Lukaku for I think around 10 million, which was absolutely amazing. And then I thought that we need another center back. And we went ahead and we picked up um, Luis Eduardo. So uh, I just want to really apologize for messing that up. And I'm just so, so, so sad that that happened. And it also missed the first game of the season, which I think we tied. 1-1 uh, one, one, or we lost no no I, I'm pretty sure we tied our first game of the season so yeah guys I really apologize but uh, we have done three and I know that like signings are the great thing about career mode and I, I know you guys were probably looking forward to those so I really really am sorry and uh, it's gone absolutely tits up and I was so pissed when I saw that and it was just my Elgato. it was recording you know a black screen and uh, it recorded like 45 minutes of nothing but black and uh, that's just uh, it's just shit uh, so I had to restart it, and that was that was really disappointing. But uh, you know, nothing can be done. I hope you guys don't mind too much because we have bought in three great players to strengthen up the squad. Now that we are in the La Liga, holy shit, that is amazing. There, Butland obviously in goal there uh, with Lukaku and uh, Luis Eduardo in the team as well. So uh, three very very strong players that we brought into our team, and uh, that's really nice to see. But uh, here, Luis Eduardo kind of gets outpaced. And that's a cross into Fernando Llorente. We're obviously playing against Athletic Bilbao, who are an amazing team. And Llorente manages to put it into the back of the net. Uh, but like I said, you know, La Liga, um, if we kind of talk about my aims and hopes and what we want to achieve this season, uh, which we want to do <laughs> since this is the first episode, uh, I'll be looking. Obviously, my main goal is to avoid relegation. And I think with the squad we have and with the money we have, we certainly have a possibility of avoiding relegation. I, I think we're going to manage to do that. Um, not easily, but you know, without too much trouble, um, I think I think we're gonna um, manage to avoid relegation, especially with these three new signings that we brought in. That's just great. Uh, none of them are on loan, like I said, they are all bought. So uh, we won't have like last season where Hernandez kind of just left and uh, left us empty-handed. But thankfully, Lukaku was a good replacement for that. I was looking at Hernandez, but he was like 19 million to buy, so I was just like, nah, nah. I tried to loan him as well, but they didn't want to loan him, so yeah. Nothing happened on transfer deadline day either, uh, which kind of sucks for you guys because, you know, that, that was one thing. I did have time to record. So one more time, I really, really do apologize. But, you know, can't really, you know, say anything against that. But we have another hard game here against Atletico Madrid. Um, uh, away game. And they, I love their away kit, by the way. It's just beautiful. Um, but uh, we were going into this game here. And uh, like I said, so we're really looking to kind of avoid relegation while and maybe even reaching for mid table but like i think like if we manage to end like 15th or you know somewhere around 15th that would be a that would be a you know good season and then after that we can look at kind of maybe somewhere between 10 and 7 and then after that definitely be looking into getting the into the europa league so uh it's a long journey but one that we can definitely do and thankfully we have enough money to make it happen but here in the 31st minute against keep in mind that atletico madrid are currently second in the la liga in real life and uh, obviously they have players such as falcao and uh, they're just an amazing team but that's some great play by andy nahar who's really improved from last season i already felt i played about you know six games or something and he's really improved and he plays a great pass to lukaku and lukaku just just, uh, puts in his first goal of the season a great great finish and I was really really pleased with that and um, Lukaku got on the score sheet as well which is really nice um, to give us a 1-0 lead against the team which is probably you know the third hardest team to play against in this league so definitely one of the teams but then speaking of you know their class it's not just Falcao and uh, two run slots in an absolutely fantastic finish. Nothing I could do about that. He just finds like a second of space 
uh, not even a second, half a second of time there uh, on the edge of my 16-yard box, and he just takes an absolutely unstoppable shot. Uh, Butlin reaching for it, but he can't get to it, and um, as disappointing as that was, you know, there was nothing really I could do about that, and that's just where, you know, the difference in class comes in, because, you know, the La Liga is still so much better than the uh, Liga Adelante, and there as well, you guys could see that... Uh, I think that was Diego Costa who just heads in a fabulous, fabulous header. And uh, you know, at this point, I was, I was, I went up one nil and I felt confident. But then you know, they came and scored two goals, and I thought, ah, are you serious? Because obviously, this was going to be one frustrating season with you know, just regardless of how much money we have, our team is not even close to the level of you know the top teams in this league. So we're gonna have to really, really fight uh, through. Uh, but uh, hopefully, we can do it. And um, and uh, hopefully we can fight our way through. So I had to make some substitutions. I brought on a few players after they scored there with Diego Costa to make it 2-1. And that was really disappointing. And I thought, I'm not going to get out of this, you know. Because if you go down in one of these games, it's going to be really, really hard to get back up. But Mahalangu, thank you very much. He hits the post. And there is obviously Romelu Lukaku, the steam train, uh, to finish it off. And um, that was just great, great to see. Uh, in the 84th minute, and that showed some real willingness, you know, from my team to come back and fight and just score a goal in the last 10 minutes against a team of the caliber of uh, Atletico Madrid. Uh, regardless if it's kind of lucky, like that one was very, very lucky. But, you know, I can't complain, and I was so pleased with that. And they almost score here in the last minute to make it 3-2. But thankfully, we managed to hold on, and getting a point, getting a 2-2 draw in an away game to Atletico Madrid is absolutely fabulous that is a great great result and i was so so chuffed with that um absolutely delighted and there you can see at the moment we're 17th in the league uh with three games played i think we had four points so uh that was pretty good uh you know it's still decent and and like i said you know we can't be too critical especially in the beginning of the season we kind of gonna have to get used to playing quite defensive going on the counter attack and you know not winning as many games as we did last season and i, th I that's a fact that we're gonna have to face because we're not gonna win as many games as we we're gonna win last season you know we're gonna lose half of our games but we're gonna have to try our best against every team and you know each unlike last season where kind of if you drew in the last minute it was kind of like meh you know we, we're still such a good team that we can make up for the next game. In this season, there's no mercy. We're going to... Every single point is absolutely vital. And uh, that's why this goal there by Romelu Lukaku was a great, great goal. Uh, even though it was a bit sweaty. But, you know, like I said... Um, we have to take our chances and even though even though that means being sweaty you know I, i'm sorry if you guys ate that but that's what we're gonna have to do and uh that put us one nil up against real betis we were playing at home and uh in this game i was really going for it uh, i felt you know i felt good i thought this could be uh the first one of the season and it was one hell of a boring game and um there that's a great challenge just in the 90th minute and i thought could this be the, the first one of the season um Yes, indeed, it could. A 1-0 win against Real Betis is a great, great result with Romelu Lukaku on the score sheet there to make it 1-0. Our first win of the season, so, so chuffed with that. Um, uh, sorry, when I said that we had four points earlier, obviously meant that we had two points and now we have five points, sorry, uh, after that win and two draws and one loss. So, uh, you know, that's not a bad, bad, um, you know, our uh, win, uh, win, uh, draw, loss thing is uh, one, two, one. And that is, that is actually very, very, very decent considering that we were just promoted. So I wasn't unhappy at all and I felt confident going into the Saragossa game and I felt, you know, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, you know, we... We can still put up a fight, and I think that was the most important now in the beginning of the season, kind of to show the other teams that we can put up a fight, you know, that we, we can seriously challenge for, you know, mid-table spot, and uh, we won't go down easy, you know, we won't be relegated, and... Um, yeah, here we play some nice football. Malangu finds Lukaku. And Lukaku, uh, I was looking, uh, you know, when I was looking for a striker, I was looking for a player that reminds me of Hernandez. And uh, is that not Lukaku? Or is that not uh, Hernandez Escort? What just takes the ball on his left foot and smashes it into the back of the post? Lukaku is basically. Um, Hernandez 2.0. He's uh he's equally tall. He's a strong. He's a spacey. He's left-footed. Three-star skills. They're they're just both amazing players, and that's why I was really chuffed with Lukaku. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about him. I've never actually used him in career mode, nor on uh, Ultimate Team. 
Uh, so I was interested to see how he does, and uh, he reminds me of Hernandez. Obviously, they have their own. Lukaku is maybe a bit stronger, while uh, Hernandez is maybe a bit more agile. But uh, I definitely do feel that they're quite similar. And Lukaku is still doing hell of a job for me, which is still the most important thing. Um, and uh, to be fair, that was what Hernandez was doing, and that's what Lukaku is doing. So uh, I can't complain in that sense. But there you guys could see Helder Postiga managed to score in the 77th minute a header against me, and. Uh, Again, you know, just difference in class, you know, uh, I just couldn't defend that. And in the Liga Adelante, that might not have gone in because my defenders would have been able to handle a uh, striker that wouldn't have been of the same class as Helder Postiga, who obviously isn't like a world-class defender, but he is still a pretty decent striker considering that he's one of the main starters for the Portuguese national team, uh, who, fair enough, are lacking in the striker position. But even so, and, um, and that was eventually what, you know, made the difference in this game and uh, thankfully we didn't lose though, appointing as Real Zaragoza is not that bad either, you know, because if we get ties in this league, I won't be too unhappy, you know, a tie is still very, very good, and if we get a few ties, a win every now and again, but we manage to evade those losses, that's, o not, that's not only good for the morale, but that's good for the whole team, it gives us a point, the point is better than no point, and, uh, you know, also losing all the time is, uh, much worse than, you know, tying sometimes, and, yeah, well, you know what I'm going for, but uh, anyway, it's been Psycho Hawk here, guys. I, I have to apologize once again for the editing mistake. I was just so disappointed. I'm disappointed myself that I can't show you guys all the transfer action. So uh, I'm really disappointed, but guys, leave a like. Can we, if we could hit seven likes on this video, that would be amazing. If you could just leave a like for the start of the season, this season is going to be amazing. So be sure to stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because this is going to be one hell of a season. It's been Psycho Hawk here, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.